today we're going to be learning about an artist named Joan Miro, and he's very famous for a lot of his abstract work. For our project today, we're going to be taking a lot of inspiration from uh, many of the examples that I have up here, such as this. As you can see, it's very funky and really cool. And this little person doesn't really look like a little person. And there's tons of shapes and lots of nice flat colors. And right here, this is just a picture of John Miro. John Miro, he was born April 20th, 1893 in Barcelona, Spain, and he died December 25th, 1983 in Palma, Spain. And he was very famous for his paintings, but he also did lots of sculptures and drawings and the style that he preferred and that I see most when doing my research on him was he did abstract Abstract. Abstract art does not attempt to represent reality. Abstract art uses shapes, forms, colors, and textures. And as we can see here, he has tons of different shapes, colors, lines, and textures. And it is really important to make sure that we are taking a lot of inspiration from his work. As we can see here, sometimes you can't really tell what it's supposed to be, and that's all right. That's what I love about abstract art. It's about imagination and creativity. Right here, to me, it kind of looks like, I see like a little pig nose. Kind of like look a little blurred from me and go. And that's what we can even do in our works today. It's, we can draw ourselves in our images or we can draw something else. Line and shape. Line, a mark made by connecting two points. Shape, a flat, closed area with length and width. And as we can see here in all of his pieces, he has tons of different lines and shapes so when we are doing ours we can even add any like random squares moons stars just lines for our artwork today we need a variety of different things and that's the next thing that we're going to be over we're going to be using a lot of our different methods of art so we're going to be relearning and talking about and using our elements of art and our principles of design and once again variety an assortment of line shapes and other elements of art and as we can see here this is also very different from the other piece that we saw he uses lots of more color in this one and color in the background so if you guys want to in ours you can also color your background of course i leave my blank though and i'm going to continue to emphasize this the most but for our objective for this project today is to have ours be very abstract so all of our paintings and drawings what that we're doing today will not look the same. And that's the exact point. All of these are going to look different. Yours will look very different from mine. And just try to have a lot of fun and be very creative when doing this. Hello guys, it's Midsim. And today, once again, all we're going to be needing for this project is any piece of paper. I'm using a 24 pack of regular crowns if you want to color and a pencil marker or pen. I'm going to be using a pen today and for this project it is optional to either have your paper landscape or portrait. I'm going to do a little bit of both so I'm going to be starting off with portrait and with this project I want you guys to take a lot of inspiration from all the images in the PowerPoint so if you guys do need to rewind you guys can do that and take inspiration but with this, all your little characters are going to be, you can draw them with like funky round heads or kind of square heads. I'm going to go ahead and start off with like kind of a squarish round head. And a lot of our artists, his people had these little triangle mouths with little circle eyes that he colored in. Now with their bodies, you can make them any shape you want. I'm gonna make mine look like something like a little dress, a little wavy dress. As you can see, like in a lot of his, they're very abstract. Lots of different shapes and colors. So like in this one, I did very funky little colors with some moods and just some regular little lines. This is all about being creative and doing what's in your imagination. So like her hands can be circles. You can draw a line through it bring it back to the body, and even like cut the clothes in half. And 
it's all about how you want to draw these. So you can draw them as yourselves, as not yourselves. But remember, take some inspiration from our artist in our PowerPoint. With this, I like I like little Bootsy draws because they're like little pinto beans. Yeah, make it look more like a foot. Then he also had a lot of his wear like little crowns, so I'm gonna do that too. So some little triangles on top of the head. Some little circles. I think I'm gonna draw this kind of like me. So I'll give it some little curls. Give it one more back here. Just... There we go. So there's my little purse. And for the background, of course, you guys can do whatever you want with it. You draw little stars, more little circles, it's a moon. You could draw moons, and a lot of his, he also drew stars. So you guys can also draw stars. So you guys can decorate it as much as you want, or as little as you want. And also when it comes to coloring, Choose out your colors. Do I used a lot of primary colors, so I think I might do that with this one too. But try to use just primaries or your secondaries, or you can even just use your thresholders. That's up to you. Hi guys, this is just voiceover Miss Sim again, and this is just me adding lots of random shapes and little lines, and that's me just choosing out the colors I'm using. I'm coloring in some like little black parts and I'm just going to pick and choose where I want my color because I'm not going to color all of this. You can of course but I chose not to. I chose to use a lot of blank space but when it comes to like drawing like extra little um, random lines and stuff like that you can make stars, you can make just little lines as you can see here. I had like lots of like little squiggly lines. Just make it up as you go. So this right here is just two that I've made. As you can see, they're both very different. So when it comes to doing y'alls, don't worry about them being perfect or anything like that. Be as creative as you can. And as you can see here, I didn't even color all of this one. And that's okay. Color it as much as you want or as little as you want. Be really creative, make really cool shapes. And always try to go back and use our artists for today as a reference. So look at his work and be inspired. Okay, I hope you guys had a fun time doing this. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!